Oh, what's up game lib? This is the Jizz and in today's video we're going to be talking about the 12.2 tier list because the changes for 12.2 or the alleged changes they came out today. So what do these changes mean and what impact are they going to have on who the best champions are going to be and who the worst champions are going to be in a week's time? So make sure to find out all the information you need about 12.2 you stay tuned for the whole video and if you want to master any of the champions or the roles we talk about in this video make sure you check out the game Weep website linked in the description and comment section for all your League of Legends needs. We're talking champion courses, guides, high elo fight analyses, everything that you need to improve. We have it on our website, so check it out, get that exclusive access, and let's get into the tier lists. So we'll start off this video by talking about the top lane tier list, and there are a few changes that are coming in for 12.2 that are going to affect the top lane meta. So if we think about the current patch on League at the moment, 12.1, Shen is by far one of the best top laners and champs in the game, right? But because of the nerf that's coming in for 12.2, so your Q damage this is decreasing, so you're dealing less damage based off the target's maximum HP, and in the top lane, seeing as you are mashing your Q first, and most champions are going to be building HP, if they're a bruiser, a juggernaut, or a tank, this just means your dueling potential is going to be way worse. Now Shen, to be honest, is actually a pretty good laner, so I'm guessing what Ryder are doing here are really trying to make him into a team-oriented top laner. So by making him worse in lane, he has a very specific role in the game now, but this does mean for the top lane and carrying games, he's going to be a lot worse off, and this is why he He's gone all the way down from broken into B tier. Now, another champion who's been targeted in 12.2, this is Tom Kenshin. Tom Kenshin's only gone down from S tier to A tier. Now, the reason for this, okay, the gray health, the E nerf, this is significant, but here's the thing. Your Q slow is up 10%, your R shield is also up, so it's not like you're going to be missing that much in the 1v1. Okay, for sure, you are going to be weaker, but it's just the fact it's Tom Kench. He's still going to be more than viable, and I think a lot of people are just overreacting to this, because really the only nerf is to his E, and for some people, they even max this last, so the effects won't even be felt that much. Now elsewhere we have Nocturne who's been buffed, so his HP per level and also his Q's AD ratio. This is why you can see Nocturne creeping into the C tier, but he's probably not worth picking just because his passive has been gutted so much. Now we also have Volibear who got buffed this patch, so his AD per level is up and his E cooldown is down by 2 seconds. Now these are buffs for sure, but they don't really target where Volibear is weak. This champion, for a juggernaut anyway, has some of the lowest base armor on the rift and he's very squishy. Yes, he can do a lot of damage, especially if you're going some sort of Nash's two for out, but the fact is he does not have the sustain that other Juggernauts have, so these buffs, for sure, they make him more offensive, but that's the last thing he needs, so that's why Volibear is in B tier. Now elsewhere, we also have Yasuo and Yone who got buffed, and lots of people were mad about this because after one patch of Shield Bow getting nerfed, Riot decided to buff the Wind Brothers, or Wind whatever you want to call them. So what's happening is your Q's AD ratio, this is up by 5% for both of them, and this is kind of meaningful, it just means you're going to do more damage, especially later in a game, but it's not that substantial. This is why Yasuo is still in C tier for the top lane, still a very risky lane to play Yasuo in, and also Yone, he's remaining in A tier. But there are some other things that are important to the top lane guys for this patch, because there are a couple of AP items that are getting buffed. So the first of these is Lich Bane. So what's happening now is that you're getting 15 ability haste, which is around 10% cooldown reduction from the item itself. The spellblade damage is down based off your AD, but up according to your AP ratio, and the cooldown for the spellblade passive is down by a full second to one and a half seconds now. This is the real buff in this item. This is huge, especially for champions who really rely on cooldown rather than just raw AP. This is why Akali has suddenly shot into S tier and Victor stays as good as he is in the A tier because with Crown of the Shattered Queen, Zonya's Lich Bane, no one is going to kill you and you're going to deal even more damage now because of this buff. Now the other AP item that's getting buffed is Rylai's Crystal Scepter. So the cost is going down 400 gold to 2600, but you are losing 15 AP, but you're gaining 50 HP. And this change I love because it's meant to be a bruiser AP item. So the more HP, the better it's going to be. And all right, some champions are going to lose some AP from it who were building it before, but to be honest, who really cares about this? So for champions like Cassiopeia, who is in the broken tier, for champions like Singed, who because of this buff is in the broken tier, this is massive. This is going to give you way more kite ability in the top lane, and champions are not going to be able to escape you. And seeing as most of these champions are melee champions, you can put them in the dirt even more. And this is also why Mordekaiser is an S tier. So a really interesting buff, this one. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Lich Bane and Rala's bus for the top lane and the rift in general. And the last little detail guys coming in 12.2 that we have to consider for the top lane tier list, this is the lethal tempo change. Well they're calling it a nerf right, but to be honest it's just a buff overall. So what's happening is your attack speed is going to scale off your levels. So for melee champions it's now going from 7% to 5% to 9% depending on your level in that game. And for ranged champions it's going from a flat 13% to 10% to 15%. So if we think about it for both sets of champions it's still giving 
a lot of attack speed per stack in the early game. This is still going to be viable, but it's giving you even more in the late game. So if we think about champions like Yone, Trindamir, Jax, these late game scalers, they are going to be even more powerful, especially a champion like Kale, and you can see her in the broken tier list. And I'd also love to hear your thoughts on this change as well. But the last little bit of information, guys, regarding the top lane for 12.2 in this tier list is the fact that Darius has moved his way up to the broken tier, and this is because of the teleport chain. The fact that as Darius, you can run so many summoner spells, you can run flash and ghost, you can run flash and ignite, ghost and ignite, depending on the champion you're against, the top lane is really becoming an island, and because Darius is one of the best 1v1ers, if not the best 1v1er in the rift, he has to be in consideration here as one of the best top laners for 12.2. So that was quite a lot of information for the top lane, so let's head to the mid lane, guys, and showcase the game leap tier list for 12.2. So for the mid lane, we talked about Nocturne, you can see here, he's now in C tier, but to be honest, lots of bad matchups, and your sustain from your passive is still not there, so be very careful, but we can see the Yasuo and Yone are both in S tier now because of the QAD ratio buff, and we also have a few more champions to talk about here. So if we think about Vigar, who's getting buffed, so your Q's cooldown is going down by a second at each rank. This is the ability you max first, so it's kind of nice. I'm also going to get more stacks from cannon minions and super minions. So lots of people are overreacting to this buff, thinking that Vigar, oh my god, he's going to get so many stacks and one-shot people after he gets to his mythic item, but it's really just not the case. This is going to allow you for sure to farm a few more minions and get more stacks from cannon minions, but it's still going to take time to ramp up. And by that point, unless the game still gets to like 30 minutes, it's probably still going to be over. So it's a buff for sure, but it's not that significant. But speaking of significant, one of the biggest buffs I think in 12.2 is coming to Tristana. So her base HP is going to 600. This is over a 40 HP increase and her regen is also going up by 0.25. Now this really screams solo lane Tristana at us because solo lane Tristana, she's pretty squishy and just more abusable now. But this new HP buff is going to give her the durability to become the lane bully that she really became a season or two ago. This is why she's in the Loki broken tier list. So if you see any champion in the mid lane who's weak in the early game or has long cooldowns or something like this, if you can jump on their head, you are for sure going to be the scariest champion in the mid lane in 12.2. But what about the champions who are getting nerfed in 12.2? Because there are a couple of these and two of these are actually huge champions who lots of people ban. So the first of these is Kiana. So what's happening? The grass zone duration. So in other words, your invisibility during your grass queue, this is down by half a second. This is nice because one of the most annoying things about playing against Kiana is the fact that you can't see her. It's not that interactive. So this is a nice nerf and also her HP regen is going down by one and a half. This means that her sustain during the laning phase is not going to be what it was. So for sure, this is a hit, but to be honest, her damage is all still there. And if you know how to pilot the champion, all of the opportunities you did have before 12.2, they should still present themselves in the next patch. And the other big mid lane champion who's getting nerfed, this is Zed, who is one of the most banned champs on the Rift because so many people hate playing against him. So what Riot are doing here are reducing your R's base damage down to 65% AD. So no more 100% AD. But to be honest, this is a bit like the Vigar bus. It looks significant for sure. But to be honest, if you jump on a champion and you get your combo off and you auto attack them with your passive and you ignite them, you are still going to kill, I'm guessing around at least 90% of the champions you actually use your death mark on. So hopefully what I'm thinking for all you Zed mains out there is that this will bring his ban rate down and people will be less toxic towards Zed because they always ban him and moan on Reddit about how broken this champion is. So hopefully you can actually play him more in your games, but he's still going to be viable. This is why he's only moved from A tier down to B tier because in high reloads, it can be a really struggle to make him work, especially with Crown of the Shattered Queen now. It's just very hard to kill the opposing mid laners. And just like we did for the top lane guys, if we think about the Lich Bane buff and then the Rylai's Crystal Scepter buff, this is why you can see Victor again in Broken, Twisted Fate in Broken because potentially Lich Bane, this could be really good on him as well, Cassiopeia with Rylai's. And we also have a Nivea here still because of Crown of the Shattered Queen, Archangel stuff. Both of these items are so good. And if we just stay on the Lich Bane buff here for a second, lots of people are talking about our champion like Echo, for example, and it being so broken on it. But here's the thing, for Echo and some other AP assassins, it's really about raw AP. So the fact that Lich Bane is going to deal less damage, unless you have like 600 AP from your items, it's really not worth going on a champion like Echo because you're about one-shotting someone. You're all about raw AP. This is why we want magic penetration from Rocket Belt, an AP from Death Cap, a magic penetration, an AP from Voice Staff. So the Lich Bane for sure, the cooldown on the spell break going down to one and a half seconds, this is huge. But when you play a champion like Echo, one combo is what you're about. So don't get too infatuated by this, but for sure, it is a nice buff to Lich Bane and hopefully it pushes it in the right direction. Now let's head to the bot lane guys and talk about the ADC tier list for 12.2. And you can see here in the broken tier, we have the new champion Zeri. And why is this new champion on this list? Well, let's think about how Riot Games works. They make a new champion, they want to 
sell the champion. So guess what? They're going to make this champion so OP. So all of us get our dad's credit card and swipe it like no tomorrow. But also in the broken tier, we have Vayne. Lethal Tempo, to be honest, is going to be even better because Vayne is a late game champion. If you can get there, you're going to get more attack speed now. We also have Jim with Fleet Footwork, just the most consistent AD carry. And then also Ziggs because of the Archangel staff buff a few patches ago. So it's now 2600 gold and working off ability haze. You can spam your abilities like no tomorrow. And lots of these champions who are good at the moment have played a lot. So Caitlyn, Jinx, Vayne, Draven, Senna, Twitch. Lots of these champions are immobile during the laning phase. So landing your bombs is going to be very easy indeed. And speaking of one of those immobile champions I just mentioned, Senna is getting a pretty disgusting buff in 12.2. And I'm sure you guys have seen it. So your Q is now going to slow enemies by 20%, which scales off your AP and your bonus AD. And this slow is lasting two seconds. So this pretty much is like the old Glacial Augment. And it makes it really disgusting for Senna because two seconds is a heck of a long time. And this is going to allow you, especially as the game progresses and your range increases, to deal so much damage over those two seconds. So if any of you play center out there or know what this means, let me know in the comments how broken you think this is going to be. Now also in S tier, we have Twitch who's moved up simply because lots of the champions here in the top tiers, Twitch does very well against. Coming out of stealth and using his ultimate, all of these are either a mobile or short range champion. So getting a full ultimate off and getting to max stacks, it is just easy kills. And the other AD carry who's getting buffed at 12.2, this is Samira. So alongside center, what's happening with Samira is that your R's damage per bullet, the base damage is increasing by five. Now, to be honest, this isn't the biggest buff in the world, but it is nice. And spinning around and hitting everything around you, it's going to mean more. Now, the rest of the tier list is very standard stuff. It really hasn't changed since last patch. Just remember not to play Cork in the bot lane. Now, we'll stay in the bot lane here, guys, and talk about the 12.2 support tier list. And lots has actually changed here. Well, kind of. Because Soda and Soraka, okay, they're staying in broken tier. But you can see that Zyra and Brand have moved up to broken. So why do we think this is? Because these two champions aren't getting directly buffed. Well, this is because Rylize is getting buffed. So the cost is down 400 gold. How good is that for supports who typically don't get as much gold as other lanes? This is really good. And the HP is up. Okay, you're losing AP, so you're probably not going to one-shot champions as much, but you don't need the AP. You have so much innate damage anyway, and just think about it. On a champion like Zyra with her plant, the Rylize slow is going to proc. This is going to set up more kills for your team, which is what you're about. So these two champions are going to be very broken in 12.2. And we also have Janna, who's gone from A tier to S tier because of the new changes that are coming in. Because there's a bit more skill expression with her Q now, this is going to mean that for those Janna players who know how to angle her Q and work it around walls, it's going to be very impactful during the laning phase, so this is why she comes in at S tier. And we also have Senna. Because of the Q buff, it's going to last two seconds, and you never know because of the Senna buffs and the Tom Kench changes, we may see the fasting Senna and Tom Kench combo come back. And just like our 12.1 AD carry tier list, nothing much is really changing elsewhere because not many supports are getting hit in 12.2, but the Rylice Crystal Scepter buff is really going to define what is going to be played in a majority of roles in 12.2. Now, the last role we have to talk about, guys, is the jungle role for 12.2, of course. And since last patch, the only change that has been made to this tier list is the fact that Vi has gone from broken into S tier and Nunu has gone the reverse. So S tier into broken just because he is outperforming Vi at the moment. With Sunfire Aegis, which is the best dueling mythic, it makes Nunu a pain in the bum to play against. He's got great ganks, good clear speed, good 1v1 potential. He's got everything you want in a jungler. Very consistent, so if he is open, you cannot go wrong picking him. But elsewhere in the jungle, not much has really changed as well. Now, Kiana and Zed are getting nerfed. This is why they're staying in C tier. But Talon is also getting nerfed in the jungle department, so his W's bonus monster damage is down 25%. So it's going from 130 to 105. This means your clear speed is going to be impacted, so you're going to be spending more time clearing camps now and less time ganking lanes and assassinating enemy champions. Of course, you still have the bleed from your passive, but it's not going to be as good as it was before. This is why Talon has gone from A tier to B tier. And a bit like Echo, how I mentioned before, guys, the Lich Bane buff doesn't really complement him that much. It's exactly the same thing with a champion like Evelyn. These two champions are about blowing up one enemy champion with a full combo. They're not about using 15 spells in 10 seconds. So Lich Bane, the ability hates it's nice, don't get me wrong, but you're not going to be benefiting that much from the item compared to other champions we've talked about. So this is why these two are staying in B tier for the jungle. And the last little detail here, guys, just because of the Nocturne buffs, he has slipped his way into Loki Broken because his clear is going to be better, the AD ratio on his Q is up, and his HP per level he's going to be tagger as well, which is really nice for him. So this is why Nocturne makes his way to Loki Broken. And those were the 12.2 tier list, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the changes that are actually hitting the rift in 12.2 and what you think of the tier list. Which champions do you think are going to be giga broken and really, really bad? Let us know in the comments. And until tomorrow's daily video, this has been the Jizzle.